What do you do for work? I'm a dancer. Why did you choose this career? I could have made it through college. I just didn't see the need to. What do you think is going to happen in the next 5, 10, 15 years when you can't dance anymore? Well, I also do adult films, so there's like 50-year-old porn stars. Do you want to ever get married? Oh, that's disgusting. What about having children? I have a pet snake. <laughs> <laughs> Keep twerking that ass. <laughs> Do you want to have children, though, one day? I don't know. This is how I feel. I think kids are cute, but I feel like dogs are cute, too. You'd rather have a dog than a, than a son. No, I didn't say that. I'm saying I feel like I need to have a deeper reasons. I feel like a lot of people have children for selfish reasons. Like, they'll mm. see children and be like, that kid's cute. Let me have a child just to parade it around for my own selfish benefit. When you grew up, did, was your father around, was your mother around, or not really? Next question. Okay, that answers the question. <laughs> I like women like this. Now hear me out. I'm not trying to put on a cape. I'm not trying to be a part of the Justice League. All I'm saying, right? Women like this who live in their truth, I think it's attractive. Not to become wifey. I'm not going to get in a relationship with no chick like this. Not at all. But I'm pretty sure we'd have a lot of fun. On the flip side, it's a guy out there that would listen to this, that would hear her tell him, who she is and would still try to change her, get his feelings hurt, and now he hates all women. I'm 17, but please don't kick me, please, please. It's Queen, you have point three seconds to explain okay. why your story is so good that I should not kick you. Because he died. What? What's funny? <laughs> What's funny about him being dead? Because he died. He's dead. 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 Because of me. So I was talking to this blood dude. We were talking when I was hella young. Like, he was like, looking my first love or whatever. One day, he had gave me his account password and he had logged me out. But I had like my email and number on it. So I logged back in and I seen all the bitches he was texting. Mind you, he lived down the street from me. So I was like going at it with myself, you know, just finding my demons. And I told my brothers. And my brothers, they wasn't tripping off that. So I was like, I need to find a better lie. After I told my brothers, I had walked to his house and I had cussed out his mama. Mind you, his mama didn't understand nothing because this was my first boyfriend. He was miscarried. His mama spoke Spanish only. So I'm sitting there cussing her out. He has a lot of brothers. And he, they had kicked me out the house. So I walked back, beat myself up. I had a black eye because of myself. And told my brothers he did it. Because why would why would you do that? And this is a true story too. And his name, Isaac Larambe. Long live that boy. <laughs> but nah. He told his brothers to look at your brothers. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god. This is probably the worst video I've reacted to since I've been doing YouTube. This is the worst video I've reacted to since I've been doing YouTube. Oh my god. Oh my god. There is no way. Oh my god. Yo, she she needs to go to jail, son. She needs to go to jail, son. She needs to go to jail. I don't, I don't know if y'all caught what... Bro, she lied and said her boyfriend beat her up and her brother killed him. That's basically what, what she... Oh, my God. Oh, I told my brothers. They had went back over there. His brothers was going out of with my brothers, and boom. But free my brother, though. Your brother shot you? Yes. The case is over with. <laughs> How many years did your brother get? 25, but my brother don't know that I'll be myself up. To this day? No. The only person I know, I'm 17. But please, don't kick me. Please, please. This is the, this is probably the sickest video I've reacted to since I've been on YouTube. Son. Son. Like, and she think this shit is funny. So, her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, he's dead. And her brother who killed him got 25 to life in prison. Because she lied and said this man beat her up. But really she beat herself up. I'm 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 not going I'm not oh, oh! I'm not gonna lie bro I'm not gonna lie to y'all when I hear stories similar to this you know young ladies lying on, on young men I think about my son I think about my son. You 
a dude that insists on cheating, at the bare minimum, keep your phone locked. So I'm at the dentist trying to better my health. I can't even focus on not being scared of the dental work because I kept getting wild private calls. Then I get a call from a 917 number, so I pick it up. It's some female talking about who's this. So I bang the call because not you calling my phone asking who I am. So that. Hey, yo, hold on. Hold on. I'm still low key thinking about the last video, but, um,. She remind me of chicks that we used to chill with when I used to live back in Brooklyn. She speak like she from New York. I don't know if she from Brooklyn, the Bronx, Queens. You feel me? I low-key feel as though she from Brooklyn. Like, she got that. But, joints like this, she will f*** your man. Ha! I'm giving it a thousand. Joints like this... Yo, is she in the crib with your n It's a rap. It's a rap. You feel me? That, that I ain't finna say I ain't finna say too much. And I get a text message a couple of minutes later, like, can you please pick up? So I pick up my phone, sis jumps straight out the window. Are you fing my husband? I'm like, nah, I don't know nobody named husband, but maybe I call her something else. What's your husband's name? She finally dropped the name, and it's a dude I haven't spoken to in weeks. Mind. Now, I'm asking questions like, y'all married like that's y'all boo? Or y'all married like y'all got a certificate? They was married, married. He hit me with the what you doing, and I'm she like, on the bus with it? He got off the phone with your wife. That is a train. This man responded, what did you tell her? So I just blocked his number because it was above me now. The project building. And while like 20 minutes later, she called again with him on the phone. Now all I hear is him in the background like, I told you I didn't f*** that girl. I never touched her. I, I, I. Not you trying to act disgusting now. So I'm like, oh, you don't know me. So I never saw that scar on your inner thigh. Bro, all you heard was, how she know about the scar? And I guess it was up because I ain't hear nothing but tussling after that. But I hung up because it wasn't my business. If you a dude I'm I'm throwing it out there. She got Brownsville written all over her. If you don't know about Brownsville, look it up. Go on Google Maps. You feel me? Them the joints that you used to go chill with that lived in the projects and there was a chance that you was risking your life when you went to go get that. All I'm going to say is, bro, you niggas ain't never went to the projects to get some and got stuck in the apartment. This nigga just knocking shorty door like, hey, yo, who your friend? Yo, tell that nigga to come outside. We just want to talk. Yeah, you ain't never, you ain't never had to do that. You ain't never had to do that. Yo, so I went to go buy flowers from my little sneaky link tonight. <laughs> lady gonna say, it must be a very special lady. Man, we in 2023. We dating dudes now. We dating each other. We tired of your shit. The way she looked at me. <laughs> but I told her the truth. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I thought he was straight. I thought he was straight. Now, I ain't finna say nothing out of pocket because... Whatever you choose to do in your bedroom, that's your business. I ain't going to judge you. More power to you, King. You feel me? More power to you. I ain't finna say nothing out the way. Because at the end of the day, it's none of my business. It's none of your business neither. Don't go. Don't come in my comment section with all this goddamn hate. You feel me? My boy went to get some flowers. And then he going to go back home and he going to get some of that 10100 He going to get some of that 10100 Just that, that That's my code for, you know, Bucci. That's my code for Bucci. 10-100. Okay, you know they cut us off for music, so we can't handle more music because they cut us off. But thank y'all for kicking it with me. What's happening? I appreciate y'all when y'all be kicking it with me. This is shea butter. I be rubbing it on my body. I be rubbing shea butter all over my body. I be rubbing on shea butter and castor oil and stuff. I do. I do. I be rubbing it on my body. Hey, what's going on? I am Osna Sarab, the Healing Place Dynasty, and I appreciate y'all. You want to see my feet? I was just rubbing some shea butter on my feet. You see that? You see how I was rubbing shea butter on my feet? I'm in the car right now. Oh, my God. <clears throat> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
<laughs> um, this is a lesson in sex appeal. This is a lesson in sex appeal. Ladies, take notes. I got that milky white polish. She talking crazy. I grew up in Indiana. Indiana? Do I meditate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I meditate. Don't ever try to compliment me by insulting me. You hear that little bitch? You hear that little hoe ass nigga? Don't play with me. Because I smell your pussy when you act that way and we don't got to treat each other like that. Don't play with me. Just be good to me. Let's just, like, let's just be good to each other. Boom. Let's just be good to each other. Don't, don't do me like that. You hear me? Don't do me like that. Because I didn't do nothing to you. No, 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 no. All right. <clears throat> We're not going to watch this whole video. There's two lessons to be learned from this. One, sex appeal. This lady has mastered the art of sex appeal. Make sure this ain't my wife texting me. Because women have very good intuition. Like, is, you, is you on the internet lusting after other bitches? But um, she has mastered the art of sex appeal. Let's just call a spade a spade. Secondly, as a married man, I would not entertain any woman like that. Because that's how you get yourself in trouble. You going to fold. Women like this make now I'm not saying she out here trying to break people's marriages up because that's actually the same lady from the video I was reacting to the other day where she was saying if you got to ask for the she never wanted to give it to you in the first place. That's her. I ain't even I ain't even know she was getting down like this. Kings, stay strong.